Uh, when we look at core data, I'm usually going to ignore some of the uh, subphyla that are a little bit more primitive. And we'll be mainly focusing on the vertebrates, so the craniata. So a lot of us, you know, that have the backbones, that is going to be what we'll be mainly focusing in on. Of course, we'll be focusing on a big chunk on the mammals, um, because of course that includes us. Uh, so a lot of times when we're talking about humans and what's going on within them, we can actually make some connections with what's going on in your dog or your cat. Um, we'll, we'll highlight some of the really exceptional aspects, like when we look at um, your whales, for example, and their respiratory systems uh, for some interesting comparisons uh, with that. All right. So one of the things that you'll notice as we start to go through some of the topics is that we will come to some phylogenetic trees and start to just take a moment to take it all in uh, as to, all right, where are we at uh, with a system, for example? And what patterns do we expect to see throughout the various taxa? So these are all animals, but you'll notice that they obviously have different aspects to their tissues. Um, how many tissues they have? Do they even have true tissues? What kind of symmetry are we looking at here? So this is a little out of date, um, but we will be looking maybe more at something like this and a little bit more um, uh, narrowed in as we look at it. So I saw a question. It's a little bit for it. Uh, so as we look at these, yeah, there's home brain. This is a little out of date with some of the things, but there's a little bit of discrepancy of is this a taxa that exists that includes um, basically uh, some of these um, more uh, primitive uh, inverts that are there. So bryozoa is this really crazy thing. It's a moss animal. It's a colony of little animals that are living together. And there's some discrepancy of where they truly get classified. So it's kind of a jumping ground right now for a lot of those mysteries. Yeah. So as we look at this, um, this is one that we'll be focusing in on for you know, the next couple weeks. Um, it's going to be a moment where, again, we just take a moment, look at it, see where we're at. And that, again, there's the animals, so including the periphera, um, and we'll focus in on the adherians and then some of the atribolastic. Um, but notice again, for example, at this point in the tree, the multicellular aspect is one of these defining aspects of our, our, our animals. As we'll start to go through, um, we'll probably ignore the sponges for a good chunk of the time because we'll focus more on the eumetazoa, where we actually run into tissues and other things. Uh, things get really exciting when we start to get these multiple tissue layers, such as um, the ectoderm, endoderm, and mesoderm that are there. Notice synapses with acetylcholine. This is something that we'll be also running into with these little bit more advanced uh, organisms and starting to get into a more sophisticated nervous system. So don't take it all in yet, of course, because it's probably very overwhelming to look at right away. Um, but we'll be taking this step by step to, again, understand why are we seeing these kind of trends that go on uh, with the various taxa that we look at. So, quick question for you guys. Um, so, as we take a step back before we jump into finishing up some of the classification, I want you guys to take a look picture, take a look at this picture, and um, I want you to think about what if you had to write um, a little caption below it. Uh, what would you say about it? As you look at it, is there anything that's kind of interesting, any connections that you can make? What just comes to mind? Again, anything goes. You can write at least two statements. Um, so we'll take a few minutes, and uh, I want to hear what you guys have to say, and then we'll continue on with this. But just looking at this, what are some thoughts that you might have, and what would you end up writing about this? So take a few minutes, and we'll come back together as a bigger group to discuss. 